here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred threescore and six. Genesis 8 verse 11 And the dove came in to him in the evening, and lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off. So no one knew that the waters were abated from off the earth. So the waters were abated. To abate something means to become less intense or widespread. To cause to become smaller or less intense. To lessen, to reduce or remove. This word is also found in Judges 8 verse 3. Let's start in verse 1. And the men of Ephraim said unto him, Why hast thou served us thus, that thou callest us not, when thou wentest to fight with the Midianites? And they did chide with him sharply. And he said unto them, What have I done now in comparison of you? Is not the gleaning of the grapes of Ephraim better than the vintage of Abiezer? God hath delivered into your hands the princes of Midian, Oreb, and Zeb. And what was I able to do in comparison of you? Then their anger was abated toward him when he had said that. And notice they did chide with him sharply. Psalm 103, 9 says, He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. So to chide means to be at strife. Psalm 106, 32, They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes. Proverbs 17, verse 14, The beginning of strife is as when one letteth out water, therefore leave off contention before it be meddled with. Psalms 31, verse 20, Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Why do you think in Revelation the flood is coming out of the serpent's mouth? But Noah is seeing this water drying up and decreasing continually. Hebrews 6, 16-18 says, For men verily swear by the greater, and an oath for confirmation is to them an end of all strife, wherein God, willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the immutability of his counsel, confirmed it by an oath, that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. Now according to Galatians 5 verse 20, strife is a work of the flesh. James chapter 3 verse 14 through 16, But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. Alright, so in this dove's mouth is an olive leaf. Romans eleven twenty four through 25 For if thou were cut out of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, and were grafted contrary to nature into a good olive tree, how much more shall these, which be the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part is happened to Israel, until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. God said in Genesis 6, 18, But with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons and thy wife and thy sons' wives with thee. And I find the timing of when this dove came into him interesting. He said, in the evening. 
The second mention of into him takes us to Acts chapter 10, verse 3. He saw in a vision, evidently, about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God coming into him and saying unto him, Cornelius. So I'll just point out that this is Acts chapter 10, and he says Cornelius, and Cornelius is mentioned 10 times in the Word of God. So think of someone who is under the curse of the law. But notice how Cornelius has the root word corn in it. Now when you think of corn, think of the Word of God. So I believe Cornelius, the Lord, sent this angel to him, this ministering spirit, to warn him and preach the gospel to him so that he would put his trust in Jesus Christ. And when he heard the word of God through the hearing of faith, that dove came into him and the Lord came in to sup with him. Which takes us to the third mention in Revelation chapter 3 verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. John 15 I am the true vine, and my Father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered, and men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. 